Hey y'all, this is Bill Hewitt. This is uh, Tuesday, November 22nd, and this is the launch of our annual Arch Oil Black Friday sales campaign. Here's the thing, y'all. I don't want your money. I want you to spend your money on some products that have incredible value for you. We've proven it now, going on a decade in fleets, the, the, the incredible benefits of this product, not just Fords, but all diesel trucks, all diesel trucks, anything diesel. I don't care if you have a diesel lawnmower, you, you should have this in the oil and the fuel. Any type of tier four equipment that has all the emission stuff on it. Look, every time you fill up your truck with fuel, you're playing Russian roulette, okay? This is the mentality you need to have. You really don't know the quality of the fuel that's in your vehicle. I, I get emails and phone calls every day of people who are stranded. I mean, stranded, oh, I got bad fuel, what do I do? Well, you know, put some, put some of this in there, okay? And it'll clean up the water or whatever you have in there. And then you'll fill filters and drop in the tank and they're stuck at the dealer. And, and, and if they're making business, it's holding up business. You know, if you don't deliver the product, you can't get paid for it. Or they're on vacation and the clock is ticking, you know, and you, your two weeks or month or whatever you took off is getting chewed up sitting at some dealership in, you know, Fort Smith, Arkansas or some godforsaken place. The burden of responsibility of these vehicles and the operation of these vehicles falls on the owner and the operator, okay? These people, you know, yeah, oh, well, the gas station, the gas company, you know, they paid me back for the bad fuel. Well, but the time is gone. Time is the most precious thing we have. You cannot get that back. So you're out here wasting your life away, waiting on getting your truck done, where as if you'd done these things like you were supposed to, like I've urgently urged you to do, you wouldn't have had the problem in the first place. Whatever water got in there would have been diffused by the, the additives in, in, in the fuel products here, and it, it wouldn't have been a problem. Okay, I'm trying to help you save yourself a tremendous amount of hardship. So let's talk about exactly what goes on and why these products are so incredibly important in your vehicle. So typical six liter truck, but or you know, or seven three or Dodge or whatever, it doesn't really matter. The processes that go on in your fuel are basically the same. Now each manufacturer has variances and differences, of course, you know. You know, Cummings is a six-cylinder engine and not a V8, straight six, and so, you know, there's certain variances, but, you know, even if it's a Mercedes V6 and you're, you know, a three-liter Mercedes V6 and you're in your GL or, or anything or any of the German cars, okay, they have terrible, terrible problems with the fuel that they sell in the United States of America. The, the, the German diesel vehicles uh, were, or, or any of the foreign v diesel vehicles were built to a higher specification of fuel. The European fuels are way better than anything we got. It just is. I mean, I can't tell you how many times when I used to go to Europe a good bit way back in the 90s for business, you know, I would get in a, in a foreign built, a uh, German built car and it's like, oh my God, the ones in America don't run near this fast. Well, that's because they're tuned for the local fuel. Everything in America is dumbed down because of the, the garbage that they sell that passes as fuel at the pump. So it's the responsibility is on us. But the, basically, it's very, very simple. Fuel goes in here, right? Right? Gotta have a locking gas cap, you know? People are gonna be stealing it when it gets to whatever, $9 a gallon. It sits in there and sloshes around until it gets sucked up by the fuel pump up here, okay? Okay, if you have a, if you have a, a, a late model, this would be called a lift pump, okay, that goes up to your, your injection system up here. Okay, but the fuel comes up to here. Now, you, the fuel filters in the modern trucks are not quite as robust as they were like in the 7.3s, and so any kind of debris that's back here in the tank is going to end up in this filter. So if it's dealt with, if the fuel is cleaned back here and you cut the, you got the fuel conditioned before it gets here, then your fuel filters are not going to be used quite as robustly. You don't want this fuel filter to get clogged. You don't want it to happen. So the fuel comes to here, then goes up the lines, and then goes into the engine. Okay, let's just call it a generic engine. It's an it's a internal combustion diesel engine, okay, and the fuel engine's injected into the pistons, into the combustion chamber. The piston comes up on the, on the compression stroke, and it self-ignites. There is no spark plugs in diesel. During this combustion process, it's crucial to have the fuel be as clean, not just clean, but it also, you want it to combust as completely as possible. In other words, 
if inside the inside the combustion chambers, inside the engine, the the fuel burns more completely in there, this is a very, very crucial point in time. These fuel supplements have an additive in there that increases combustibility. Now this does a couple things, really, 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 really important things that you need to have in your engine. Number one, the, by burning the fuel more efficiently in the combustion chamber, okay, you of course get better power and better fuel economy, which is a tremendous plus, but the carbon that is created by the fuel, okay, the unburned fuel, this is the real problem we got to talk about here. That unburned fuel comes out the exhaust to your turbo, through your EGR system, okay? And if it's not burning correctly, it will build up soot, okay? Now, soot is the enemy, especially in the late model trucks, okay? It's not the friend of a six liter either because it will, you know, damage the EGR valve and it will damage the, the EGR coolers and crack them and clog them, okay? But then... In the, in the later model trucks, okay, as we all know, after 2008, okay, it comes down from your turbo and goes out your exhaust, and there's this great big can back here, okay? And this one's, six liter only has a simple converter. That's it, okay? I don't know much of what they do, but I don't think it amounts to much. But there's another can in there on a late model truck called a DPF. That DPF controls the soot, catches the soot. Now, if you're not making the soot in the combustion process, then the DPF back here doesn't get used as much and that increases your fuel economy. Let me explain why. Every time that the, that the sensor in the DPF triggers the computer that it has, it's pressurized and it needs to be cleaned, okay, what they call regeneration. During the regeneration process, the DPF has a sensor in it that senses pressure noting that there's a pressure differential from the front to the rear of the the DPF, okay, diesel particulate filter. That triggers the regeneration cycle to happen in the powertrain control module, okay? What, what re regeneration means is that there's fuel poured into the rear cylinders on the exhaust stroke, okay? So, there's heat, very high, up to 1400 degrees. It goes up through your turbocharger, out the exhaust, and into the DPF and burns this soot and turns it into ash and then shoots it at your tailpipe. Now some of the some of us might remember some of the old videos of the early 6.4s of flames, you know, these big flamethrowers. Well that was DPF regeneration that got a little, the, the PCM got a little carried away and they had reprogramming of the PCM to cause that to quit happening. But so that's the regeneration process. One of the tricks to these late model trucks is to make the regeneration process happen as little as possible. It's, it's the, the regeneration process is not good for the longevity of your engine because you're inducing heat into the engine, certainly not for the turbocharger, and certainly not for the exhaust system. It's just not good, but it's an EPA mandated thing. That's the only way they figured out how to reduce the soot. Uh, in these vehicles and every manufacturer has a system like that on them and there's people that make a very very good living uh, servicing those especially on the west coast uh, servicing those systems so by using these products okay by using the Arch Oil AR 6500 okay and the Arch Oil 6300 which is your winter blend this is good to negative 44 degrees y'all I mean it's cold now I'm not going where it's that cold to test it. Making the combustion process more efficient in your engine increases the life of the engine by not having heat induced by DPF regeneration. Let's not even talk about the side effects of repair bills uh, for soot that's uh, formed inside of your EGR system or soot that's built up in the, in the rest of the exhaust system or the turbochargers or anything else, okay? D diesel engines don't like to idle. Unfortunately, uh, the vast majority of these engines exist in urban environments, so you idle a lot. So, you know, the engine will cool down in, the, in, in idling processes and it doesn't combust as efficiently, okay? I've seen this in ambulances for years. They idle the things. They idle them and idle them and idle them because they're always afraid that they're never gonna start when, you know, there's an emergency call. These, these arch oil products have, uh, fuel products have absolutely changed uh, the longevity and the reliability in these ambulance fleets that I've worked with for years, okay? 
I, I can't begin to tell you. I can really, there's, I, I don't know how to actually put it in words just how incredibly beneficial these fuel products are. It's just incredible, and especially on a late model engine. I have fleet trucks, 2011s, 12s, uh, that are well north of, of 400,000 miles that not only have, do they not have these problems, they, you know, these, are, these are government fleet vehicles, so they have to maintain the emissions control systems on them because they have to conform to the law. Not only did it make all that, it's still original, okay, and many of these vehicles, not only that, but the lubricity that comes from these helps the fuel injection system or the high pressure pump, the fuel injectors are all over 400,000 miles. Now, if you just run straight fuel and you don't have any extra lubrication in your fuel, these uh, um, components generally last uh, 180 to 220 is generally what we're looking at for a complete fuel inject injection system in a 6.7. You're knocking on 10 grand, ladies and gentlemen. So over the life of the vehicle, this is a small fraction of money to pay to make your vehicle go the half million miles or more. It's just, it's just incredible. You've got to have it. Got to have it in your truck. I can't overstress it. And I, you know, I think in the back of my head as I listen to these phone calls of these people having these problems, they're getting raped by the dealer, okay? They're just raking them over the coals and just emptying their pockets. I always kind of think of, you know, Chevy Chase in uh, uh, <laughs> that whole movie, uh, Vacation. It's like, well, how much money do you got, boy? You know, seriously, they're taking you to the cleaners, okay? Pull out the American Express and pay them. That's what they want you to do. You know, these people make their money, you know, not being the greatest of people. It is what it is. If you don't want to be in that situation and you rely on your truck and you need the thing to run right, you absolutely have to have these products in your truck. On top of the fuel management, there's also oil management. Okay, This product, AR9100, need to have it in your oil at every oil change, especially the 6 liters and 7 threes. You guys need to have this. You have HUI injection systems that need the extra oil stabilization. I have seen this eliminate and fix stiction in so many trucks I can't even tell you. Cold start problems in the six liter, okay? It's, it's been going on since the beginning. Cold start problems, this very much helps that. Have it in there every oil change. This is a extreme diesel fuel system cleaner. You need to put this in your fuel tank at the same time you do the oil change. Okay, this will help keep that fuel tank just clean as a whistle, okay? There's you, you paraffin and all these other different things that will form in a, in a big diesel tank, you know, 11, 12, 13, 15, 20,000 gallon diesel fuel tank. Okay, there's just crap that accumulates in there over time. This will help to dissolve those and pass them through the engine, keep your fuel filters clean, keep everything clean. So when you do your oil change in your truck, you want these two products, okay? This is something, I don't know, it's, it's a, this, product, this product's been around, but what we found is, is that we started really working with these, is that these two need to be together. This goes in your oil, this goes in your fuel. Now, if you're living up north, you need this, good to negative 44 degrees. Um, the, I, I can't overstate the benefits of the the fuel, uh, the fuel additives, AR6300 for the winter time, AR6500 for us folks down here where it never really gets to be really winter, okay? I, I can't overstate the benefits of this product. It's, it's just absolutely amazing. You know, it's actually cost me money to sell these products uh, because you know, our, our fuel injection repairs have gone to almost nil. My parts manager comes to me and says, you know, we're not just not selling injectors like we used to. And this was years ago. And he was like, what are you thinking? And it's like, Look, man, PowerStrokeHelp.com is a consumer advocacy. We're here to help you. This Power Stroke Help, that's what we're here to do. And I'm, my cheap Scottish blood doesn't allow me to spend money frivolously. I just don't do it. I don't care if I won the lottery and there was millions of dollars in the bank. I, I wouldn't spend it. I mean, that's just the way I'm wired. I want my equipment to last as long as possible, okay? Now, there's one other little, one other little ripple here that I think that needs to be said. All right, and I'm not going to get into a political discussion, but we're looking down the barrel of a gun, 
the world is. I mean, we're looking at recession. I don't care how you slice it or how you dice it, but we're looking at a recession. And I was there in the 70s. I was there in the early 80s. And I remember having to help my uncle. This was probably 1979. I was helping my uncle rebuild an old John Deere tractor from the 50s. I said, I said, I said why are we working on this old junk? And he looks at me, you know, with his way he would do me. And he said, look, we don't have the money to buy another tractor. We don't have the ability to do that. We have to make this old thing run. And, and that's when it started to really dawn on me that these things don't last forever. We, we we're very dependent on them for our livelihood. And we have to do what's necessary, especially the, the vehicles we're dealing with now. They're incredibly complicated. And, and continual bad fuel being put into these trucks or fuel that's not lubricated correctly, fuel that doesn't combust correctly, um, is only going to make the problem worse. You know, the, the days of free money are gone. You know, oh, we'll just go get another truck. Man, have you looked at how much these trucks are? You need to take care of your equipment. You need to take care of your equipment. So, there's a couple packages that you need to take a look at. We call it the ultimate diesel kit and the ultimate diesel winter kit. This is the ultimate diesel winter kit. AR9100 uh, uh, friction modifier for your oil. AR6400D in, goes in your fuel tank at the same time you do your oil change. And then at, over time, over the, over the duration of your oil change, you use the oil, uh, fuel treatment in your fuel tank. The ultimate winter diesel kit has the fuel additive that has your uh, anti-gel in it. Okay, you live up north, this is the kit you order right here. The ultimate diesel kit, for the folks that don't live in the tundra, okay, this is your kit. This is what you need to order. They're on sale. It, it's, yeah, you know, it's a little bit of money, but it's probably the single best investment that you can do for your diesel vehicle is to buy these products and then use them. Don't let them sit on your shelf. They're no good sitting on your shelf. Got to use them. Make sure you have these products in your vehicle so that you can enjoy many good years of use out of your incredibly expensive investment that you've made into owning your truck. There's a link in this video, a little button somewhere. Press that button. Go to my go to archoil.powerstrokehelp.com and order this today. Black, the Black Friday sale, it only goes as long as we have the product. If we, we run out of product, the last few years we've run out of product. So order it and get it coming.